We all love our family, don't we? And if you're lucky enough to have sisters, I'm sure you've got some fun stories. I'm lucky enough to have two sisters, an older sister and a younger sister. And uh, always being the baby of the family, I'm sure Carolee felt like she was getting picked on. But she was one smart little gal. And if she ever wanted to try something, she put her mind to it and she would do it. And uh, we had a lot of fun with Carolee. One uh, event that just stands out in my mind that still makes me giggle to this day is when she was really young. And I'm thinking she was probably maybe six years old. And being around her older sister, she knew that we were always constantly primping, doing our hair, shaving our legs, all those things that girls like to do. You know, just constantly fidgeting and fussing and primping. Well, um, in our family on Monday nights, we always would have a family home evening night. And what that was is that as a family, we'd meet together and sometimes we'd have a lesson, we'd learn something. Sometimes we'd have an activity. Sometimes we'd just play games. But we'd spend at least an hour on a Monday night together as a family. And it was always very fun. We all looked forward to it. We were... Um, getting ready for family home evening and my parents said come on kids uh family home evening everybody come on into the front room well mary my older sister uh she came in i came in and we were sitting there and carolee had been in the bathroom so my dad uh said carolee come on family home evening starting and they waited a little bit to give her time you know not knowing what she was doing and uh She'd been in there about 10 minutes and we're all waiting on her. And so finally my dad says, Carolee, we need to start family home evening. You need to come out of there. Is there a problem? Well, you hear, no. And the door opens and slowly Carolee comes out. But she's got a bath towel wrapped all the way around her legs and she's pinching it at the top so she's walking like this because she can't move very far with the towel and everybody's sort of looking at her she goes over and sits down on the couch and my dad goes carolee is there something wrong what's going on with the towel well nothing i just want to cover my legs and my mom, she knows a little better. She goes, Carolee, take that towel off right now. Carolee starts to cry. And she goes, I'm sorry. I used Daddy's razor. Well, Dad and Mom jump up. Mary and I are just sitting there looking, wondering what's going to happen. Well, off comes the towel. And we can see on the entire front center of both of her legs. She's missing about that much skin from her ankle all the way up. It looks like she took my dad's razor, she slammed it down just at her ankle and then pulled up to below the knee. There are two lines all the way to the top of missing skin and blood just oozing out from this loss of skin. Well, immediately my mom and dad pick her up and take her into the bathroom and help help get the bleeding stopped. And I'm sure there was a little talk about when it's time to start shaving that they will be happy to get her a razor for her own use, but she's much too young to be using a razor at this age. Mary and I just hooted and Carolee was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to do it. Another fun family home evening.